Okay, after removing the blower from this thing, we uh, can see, uh, and you, uh, you techs that have been in the business, you know exactly what this is. Uh, that's a zero maintenance blower. Uh, see, buried underneath there somewhere is a motor. All the cooling holes are covered up. And we're going to have to clean this mess up. Uh, we'll take a look at the wheel itself. Okay, this is a picture of the, uh, the fins of the blower, and you can see uh, this uh, crap hole all over the place here. Uh, just crap all through here. Uh, that blower is not moving hardly any air. So we're going to have to clean up that blower and we'll check out the operation of the motor and uh, see if the bearings are okay. Uh, the motor runs, uh, but we'll have to check the bearings out and so on. Okay, here we have the motor out and we're ready to pull the blower out of this thing. Uh, you might want to note which way these uh, little fins on the blower go. Uh, it uh, take pictures of it if you want to. Actually, if you put it in backwards, usually the uh, the hub that has the set screws in it will be in the wrong side anyway, so it won't won't work. But uh, you might notice which way they go. Okay, here's another look at the motor once it's pulled out. Got kind of an odd bracket holding it in. Some of that antique stuff. We're going to clean this thing up. I've checked the bearings in this thing. The bearings are good. Uh, if there's any oilers on it, I'm going to oil it. And, uh, and I'm going to brush it off with a brush. No water in this thing. Put water on it, you have no idea what's going to happen. You'll probably break it. So, okay, I wanted to note while we have this fan out, those are oilers. And they're just little aluminum plugs and uh, one on each bearing those need to be removed and filled with oil and when the motors mounted back in put them on the upper quadrant there's no way this thing ever could have been oiled the way it was set up because the bracket that it was in right there the oilers were right up in here someplace there's no way you could ever got to them so it has not been oiled probably since it's been in so We'll, we'll go ahead and oil this bearing up. Okay, I usually use these uh, zoom spout oilers. Got this cutesy poodle uh, end on them. And I run oil into these things until it comes back up. Sometimes I'll do that twice. This one I'll probably do three or four times on because I know it hasn't been oiled for a long time. Okay, we got the blower cleaned. We got the wheel pretty clean. About as clean as we're going to get any of this stuff. They actually do clean up usually pretty well. And uh, we're going to put this motor together. We're going to mount the oilers. Remember those oilers? Right there on the motor. We're going to mount those so that they are up. And it can be oiled. Now it's not real easy to oil no matter what you do. But at least put them up to where they're accessible. Okay, what we're looking at here, that's the uh, uh, blower wheel and the set screws in there. You want the flat right there. If you put the flat on some other area, sometimes there's rust and stuff in there and it won't fit well. But the set screws are, are loosened, but look for those holes and then line up your motor with the holes and try to get that in there with that flat pretty much where those set screws are. Okay, now the blower's in, and I want you to look at that flat. Okay, you can see the flat of the shaft is up here, 
and it's in line with the set screws. Okay, you want to tighten that up in line with the uh, with the flat in line with the set screws because you do not want those set screws to tighten down on the round of the shaft. If it tightens on the round of the shaft, it'll probably ruin the shaft and very possibly ruin the blower wheel too. So, uh, not to mention the fact that it'll stop working, it'll spin or something like that. So, uh, make sure you tighten that on the flat of the shaft. You're also gonna make sure, and let's see, get back out of here a bit. It's kind of hard to tell from here, but, and this thing's a little bit bent because it got knocked around, but uh, this should be as equidistant as you can from the edges. And now the blower is ready to install.